If you're new to boiling crawfish, crabs, shrimp, this video is for you. Let's keep it simple. Let's have a perfect bowl. If, you've do, if you're doing it for the first time or you've done it a hundred times, you will learn something from this video as I shake the table. <laughs> um, with our crawfish blend, it's low in sodium and it's all natural. All you have is seasoning. So there's no fillers, there's no additives, there's no junk. With, <clears throat> with this, we're going to keep it simple. Water, seasoning, lemon oil at the end, that's it. No extra vegetables for seasoning. Now you'll see all these people add uh, orange juice and lemons and they'll add onions and celery and they'll put it in a mixer and they'll put it in a, a, a food processor and they'll do this and they'll add a whole bottle of crab bowl and they'll do this and they'll do that. We won't get into all the science behind it, but bag of seasoning and water, it works if you do it properly. Um, and that's what we're going to show you here is how to have a consistent bowl every time where you can eat five or 10 pounds of crawfish and not swell up. So if you use our blend, because we don't use any, uh, any other blend, we use ours. Uh, we have the shrimp and crab, which is just basic for everybody. We have the crawfish blend that also works for everything. We just name them differently. Uh, the crawfish blend is, has a little bit more heat to it. It has Chinese pepper instead of cayenne. It also has jalapenos and bell peppers for more flavor. So with the crawfish blend, you get the second sack bowl on your first bowl. You don't have to have two different bowls. It's like, I'm waiting for the second sack. No, you get the second sack seasoning on your first sack. If you follow directions and you use this video as a guide, it's really simple. Don't overcomplicate boiling crawfish. Step one, bring your water to a bowl. Step two, if you have potatoes, garlic, um, mushrooms, whatever you eat, put that in first. Boil it plain water, take those out once they're almost done. Then add your seasoning to the water, add your crawfish. Once your crawfish comes to a bowl or almost to a bowl, shut them down. If you want lemon or orange oil, then add that. Um, then add your vegetables back, your frozen corn, uh, frozen boudin, sausage, whatever, at the end. You don't have to use butter tricks or vinegar. That is That does not work. It doesn't. You're going to add a pound of butter to nine gallons of water. It's not going to work. Vinegar doesn't work. If you boil your crawfish for three to five minutes, you've overcooked it. And you're going to continue to overcook it. That's why you have all these gadgets to cool down the water so much. With this method, if you bring it to a bowl and you add your frozen stuff at the end, everything will cook. It will bring the temperature down. It will go into soak mode and you can soak it and have all the flavor that you want. And you don't need gadgets. You don't need special tools. You don't need anything. All you need is a pot, water, crawfish, and seasoning. That's it. So... Uh, use this video as a guide. If you have any questions, please comment. Uh, go to my website, comespointblend.com, Facebook, whatever. You can ask me a million questions. We've done it all. And the reason we're doing this is because this is our standard. This is what we do as a standard uh, because when you add and you keep compiling different stuff, it takes away from the seasoning. And we've done this through trial and error. Last year, we did 30 sacks. This year, we haven't done that many because it's been super expensive. But I know when I go downstairs and we make I have a crawfish bowl, I know it's going to turn out great every time. And everybody's going to be happy because we've built up that confidence and knowing uh, what we know, and we're going to share that with you. So if you want more tips and tricks and you want us to make a video on all the stuff that we've learned, uh, I can put something together for you guys, but please ask questions. If you don't ask, then you don't know. So enjoy. Got two sacks of crawfish. We're washing these in the three compartment sink. Let's see some of these big ones. What we got? This is a large mix. There's some monsters in there. 
Good one. 70 pounds of crawfish. We're going down today. Pull one. Pull two. And if you're a pro, you get the five gallon bucket of Comes Point Blend Crawfish Full Blend here. Five gallon bucket. We got some extra cayenne, onion, we got some lemon oil. We're going to do a little bit of thing this morning. We're going to do one regular batch and we're going to do a test batch. You know, we're always testing. Alright, guys, continue, continue to wash your crawfish. Get, get some of these baskets. If you do crawfish and stuff a lot, crabs, get some of these baskets. That way, you can come in here and you can shake them. Make sure you clean them. And after you shake them, just agitate all that dirt out of them. Make sure and fill them up one more time. Make sure they're clean, clean, clean before they go in the pot. We want that water to run clear. You don't need a bunch of gadgets. Just let it overflow. Change out your water. All right, this is what we're doing. We've done measured out our water. We have nine gallons of water here. We have a sack of crawfish going in. One pot. Everybody's got a pot like this, so that's why we're doing it. Measure your water. Vegetables going in. Use that crawfish sack that you already got. You ain't got to buy nothing else. Put those in there. Let those boil for 10 to 15 minutes to get them tender. Get your little rope right here when you put it right there where you can get your bag out and you got to fish it out later. Once those get tender in plain water, we're going to soak them with the crawfish at the end. important step here. Do not boil your crawfish because once you boil your crawfish, you overcook them. See? Everything in this pot is almost to a boil. It's only five degrees off. So what we're going to do, we're just going to take these crawfish and kind of stir them a little bit and let them sit for 10 minutes. No vegetables, just crawfish and seasoning. And we're just going to let them sit. See how they're floating? Boil until they float, soak them until they sink. All right, we're just going to let these sit here for about 10 minutes. Fire off. 
Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. All right, so we put the crawfish in, brought them to almost a bowl, then we let them soak for 10 minutes. Now we're gonna take some of this juice out and add a bottle of this lemon oil to it. Now we're gonna do this to where we can mix it up properly. That way you don't have half your crawfish that tastes like lemon, the other half doesn't. So we're just gonna dilute that. Take our stick. Gonna lift this up. Go ahead. Go ahead, dump it in there. Dump that in there. Give it a good stir. We're gonna put these back in here to soak. Now, when we do, now we're gonna add all of our vegetables back that we boiled in plain water. You can probably see some of our sweet potatoes has disintegrated because I cooked them too long. of these in here a little bit. Now these vegetables are gonna soak up enough water or enough seasoning, even though they're boiled in plain water. That way your corn and potatoes and all that stuff is not crazy. It's some frozen boudin we had in the freezer and we have some sausage. Sausage is already pre-cooked, so all it's gotta do is heat up. Since we've already soaked all this a little bit, the water's still hot. We haven't added nothing else to it. Now, we're just gonna press that down a little bit. That frozen corn and everything's gonna start chilling everything down. And now we're gonna soak it for 45 minutes. And then we eat. We're gonna continue to soak with the lid off. That way we can get all the steam up and make sure that we uh, get that water cooled down. Crawfish are still cooking because we're still at a certain temperature above 150 degrees. And we'll just let them go to soak. That corn and that sausage and everything is going to help cool this water down. Go ahead. Can't see it. It's, uh, it's the iPhone, not the thing. See, so right there on the top, it's already like 148 to 177. But it's going to continue to cool down. We're just going to let it soak. The Boil them till you until they float. Sink them to their oh. Wait a minute. Boil them till they float. Sink them to their what? Suck them till they sink. That's right. 